Hey, how's it going? This is Rob from Justin's Toys, and today I'm going to show you how to make the checkered hexafish. This design was submitted to me by Sky Pink Joy, and it is a sweet new variation of the hexafish. This is the hexafish with hearts. This is the hexadots. This is the original hexafish, and this is the inverted hexafish. So as you can see, it is similar in its width to the other hexafish variations. This one right here is actually made with chameleon bands, so the bands are going to change color when you wear them. And in summary, the checkered hexafish is really just two three-pin fishtails that are woven onto itself. And you'll see what I mean when you watch this tutorial. So as you can see, these bands are changing color because they're chameleon bands. And without wasting your time any further, let's get started. To set up your loom for the checkered hexafish or the soccer variation, you want to set up your loom just like this so that there are six pegs hanging out with a gap in the center. It's the same exact setup of the hexafish on one loom. I would recommend using as many large bases as possible. And once your setup is complete, we will be using these six pegs right here because I'm right-handed and I could get into the groove. If you're left-handed, just do the mirror image. You can also make this bracelet on the monster tail. Just use that setup, these six pegs right here. It's actually a little bit easier, but for this tutorial, we'll be using the rainbow loom. And the colors I'll be using is this exact bracelet right here. Rainbow alternating with black, creating this checkered rainbow black bracelet. The first thing you're gonna do is grab your first band, mine is black, and you're gonna put it capped on this peg right here. Capped is also known as double looped. I'm just taking it, turning it so it creates a cross, and then bringing it up and over just like that, which creates a cap band. And now I'm gonna take my hook and grab the right ends of the band and bring it over all three bottom pegs, just like that. And push down, and I'm gonna grab my second black. And I'm gonna place it on top of one, two, three pegs. So what I like to do is just bring it up like that and then use my hook to bring this end down and over and it'll create this boomerang shape. Now I wanna grab my first rainbow and do the mirror image of that. So I'll, instead of these three pegs, I'm gonna connect one, two, three. And the easiest way to do that is bring it down like that and use the hook to bring this end up and over. Make sure you catch it so that it's under this peg. All right, now I'm gonna push down and then grab another black and connect one, two, three bands right there. All right, my next rainbow, which is gonna be one, two, three and then one more set of boomerangs on the bottom I'm pushing down to make space one two three and one two three okay at this point you need to grab your hook and grab this cap band that's over these three pegs and bring it up and over to the center so it creates this shape just like that. And now we can bring up the bottom band on all six pegs just like a hexafish. So right here, there's one, two, three. Turn it around, four, five, and six. Then push down, 
turn the loom back around. And again, we are gonna put another set. One, two, three, black. One, two, three. Next rainbow color, which is neon orange. All right. So again, bottom band on all six pegs. One, two, three, four, five, six, and push down. Okay, so in order to make this checkered pattern right here, we have to alternate the colors now. So instead of putting a black on the bottom first, now we want to grab our next rainbow color, which is yellow, and place it on those three pegs that we normally would have put a black on. And then the three pegs that we were normally going to put a color on, we're going to put a black instead. So we're just alternating the sequence that we're applying the colors. And now we're just going to resume back to normal. Bring up the bottom bands on all six pegs. One, two. Turn the loom around, push down, and again, color on these three, black on these three, color is first. All right, bring up the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn it back. Next color. Next black. And bring up the bottom. Okay, so again, one last time we're doing the colors on the bottom. And the black on top. Okay, one, two, three, Four, five, and six. And since that was the fourth color that we put on with the color starting on these three pegs, we are going to alternate back to black. So every four bands, you change the sequence to alternating color and black. All right, 
so that's basically it. I'm just going to continue this faster now. And after, I'd say, eight more sequences, I'm just going to fade towards the end so that you can see how to clip. Now alternate back so that colors on the bottom. Now back to black. All right, so I'm just gonna fade towards the end once this bracelet is long enough to fit around my wrist. And you can tug down here and you'll see it's starting to develop. All right, so I'll be back once it's long enough. Okay, so now I'm reaching a point where I feel like the bracelet is long enough to fit around my wrist. So I'm just gonna continue for another set Push down, boomerang color, boomerang black, bring up the bottom bands. Push it down, boom around color, boom around black, bring up the bottom bands. black. Now, since I did four, boomerang color. Bring up the bottom. Push down, boomerang black, boomerang color. Bring up the bottom. Okay, so next what we're going to do is, like in Hexafish, instead of putting any boomerangs on top, we're grabbing one black and placing it over all six sides. 
And then we're gonna bring up the bottom on all six, just like before. So one, two, three, turn around, four, five, and six, and push down, and repeat. This time put this over all six pegs, create a rectangle, and bring up the bottom bands on all six sides. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Now, just like the ending of the hexafish, we are still bringing up the bottom band so that there is only one remaining end on each peg. Push down. And we are going to break these six ends down to just three. Easiest way to do that is grab this end right here, bring it in. Just like that. Take this end and bring it up. As you can see, I'm, my hook's facing that way. I'll pull it off, rotate it and bring it up here. Okay, and this one right here on the right, we're just gonna take off and bring right here. So now that it's narrowed down to just three ends, grab another band and put it over these three pegs, just like so. And now you want to grab the two bottom bands on each of these three pegs and bring it up. Turn the loom around. Over here, you want to grab the two bottom bands right there and bring it up. And over here, are these two bottom bands bring it up. All right, and now we want to bring these two ends up to here, but you're folding it in. So, folding it in, and this end right here, we are folding it in. All right, so that is it. We can grab our C clip at this point and just go in there. Have the groove on the bottom, go halfway in, just push down. Once you know that you have all three ends, you can hold where the groove is and pull this off. Okay, so as you can see, the clipping is complete. And as you see, it is flat. Kind of looks like a flex of fish. But if you want, you can pull on it really hard just to thin it out and you can squish in the sides to make it round instead of flat. All right. And then now you want to go back to the start and you'll notice that there is one side that has a horizontal line and the other side doesn't. You want to narrow down this one little horizontal line and pull on that with the hook. Okay. And you'll see these two ends. You'll see two other horizontal 
these two ends right here, that's when you know you got the right end. And you want to clip all three of these ends. This was the original cat band, and this is the other end. And you're going to clip one, two, three. All right? You can kind of tug on these two ends too if it looks like it's tight. And there you have it. That is the completed checkered hexafish, also known as the soccer variation. This is Rob from Justin's Toys, and if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, and happy looming.